Hey, welcome back to Mobility Project. Today we've we're kind of been talking about recently on the M1 and today and tomorrow you'll see a couple more go up. We're using this compression band, this kind of thick piece of rubber to create a tack and floss where we're able to tack a tissue down and try to floss past it. Uh, it's my understanding the way Dick Hartzell originally intended was uh, as a really effective compression bandage or compressive mechanism to be able to comp intermittently almost make tissues ischemic, block the tissue, compress out kind of, you know, all the nasty stuff, release that high level compression, then see the tissues reperfuse and start to draw blood flow back. Remember, stagnation, uh, poorly perfused tissues, poor circulation is the mechanism for we see a lot of junky, junky tissues. Um, the more blood flow we can get, the more tissue change we can get, the better off we are. And, and this is really a, a really simple way to drive this. Compression is how we deal with swelling. It's the best way to deal with swelling. And uh, this is a nice way to reperfuse tissues and get some swelling. So take a look at this ankle. This ankle is, uh, is a little bit junky. I think the, the story is that it had uh, surgery on it. Is that right? That's right, yeah. Okay, so it had a surgery. It gets cleaned up, but for some reason ends up staying kind of puffy. Now this athlete, uh, who will remain anonymous, is, he's on the camera, is, his, his diet is squeaky clean, he's really started to take, uh, he's, he's mobilizing upstream and downstream, and one of the last pieces on this is he lets get some, some blood flow. And you can see the band marks, so I've shown him how to do this before. When we came in, the, the tissue was a, wasn't very, wasn't as healthy as it was pink as it is right now. He's got a little bit of dry skin. We see some kind of nail stuff going on. Sometimes it just is a, an indicator that maybe this tissue, and we know just based on the fact that uh, it's kind of thickened, that there's some issues in swelling and or issues in kind of uh, circulation. So an easy way to stop do that is I'm going to take this band, and he can do it himself. And I'm just going to put about 50 to 75 percent stretch. So 50 percent stretch, 100 percent stretch. You know, 50 to 75. And I'm just going to start wrapping this thing up, and we're going to just keep going and adding tension, just kind of overlapping the bandage here. And it should be pretty tight. And I'm just not going to let any section kind of get, get away from me here. Again, keep applying 50% stretch as I go around to 75% stretch, making it uncomfortably comfortable. And then we're just going to keep wrapping in areas of interest as we, as we kind of keep hunting around. And what's great about this is that we can get some high level intermittent compression on this that's, self, that's really doable by yourself in the comfort of your own home when you get a chance. And this is an easy way to start to really reduce all of these swelling bits. And if I'm in the field, don't have access to a compressive device, this is a really excellent way to start to restore motion. Now, what's nice about this is that we can really get the tissues out of there and then we can actually work on motion under that compression. So that's the, 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 the magic, is that we get it nicely compressed, and then we also try to restore some motion here. So I've, I've wrapped them up tight. Donnie Thompson did this on my ankle, but uh, we, we kind of in the context of the sprain. This is the context of uh, circulation problems. So now, pull that foot back, and then he could push and pull himself, and then I'm just going to help him. Super friend help. Push and pull. And we're just going to try to get as large an amplitude and excursion through that tissue as we can. And it really starts to challenge those tissues. No pain, right? No. Nope. nope. And we're going to go corner to corner here. So when, how long ago was your initial surgery on this? Eight years ago. I had three surgeries on it. Oh, three surgeries yeah. eight years ago. So we have old tissues that we need to kind of start to, start to get going. Now, has, your t has this ankle changed since we started working? Yeah, it's gotten a lot better. A lot better. And we're just taking the easy slack off. Let's go corner to corner here. And now, are you feeling any tingles in your feet? No. No. Okay, so good. So we can keep going. And you can start to see that he's having, we're cutting off and occluding the circulation. His feet starting to get white. It's starting to get a little colder, back and forth. So I would say, you don't probably need to go more than two minutes, but you know, use your best judgment on this. And the idea is that you get, get as much motion as you can. He could walk around on it, which he was doing, doing some toe raises. Maybe that's the best and only a time to be able to do a toe raise. Sure. We have him doing the basic Romanoff foot exercises, back and forth, back and forth. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to pop this off here. Let's just say that was two minutes. Watch what happens to the color of the foot. And as it starts to reperfuse, it's going to turn bright pink. And you can see the compression lines in here as we've shoved out that tissue. 
Now remember, it's the lymphatics that drain tissue, and so when we get kind of challenge or congestion, we've got what we're really trying to do is push and get that lymphatic system to kind of kick on for the large swelling, but then driving the, the reperfusing the blood and getting that circulation in those superficial tissues is tough, especially since those capillaries are really small and we're down, downstream and obviously having some kind of peripheral um, circulation problem for a long time. And now this thing is starting to turn bright pink. You can see the, even the color change between where it was wrapped and where it was not wrapped. And what's happened is that blood come, kind of comes crashing back in there and it really makes a difference. Now this, this, this thing is really warm much warmer than this distal foot and he can wrap this bottom foot on too and you can actually see what, kind of where we've ended and all of this and this is a simple way and in fact this actually looks better to me clinically now after we've wrapped it three times and you can see a definitive fall off in this tissue and he could continue to wrap this theoretically up his leg but as a system of dealing with old junky swollen stuff because sometimes we have these old kind of injuries that we never get ahead of and this, this tissue starts to uh, kind of aggregate. He didn't have, necessarily have any pitting edema this time. It wasn't pitting, but it definitely doesn't feel and look like young supple leopardition. How old are you? Uh, 30. 30. This is not the, the leg of a 30-year-old super jock. So an idea on the mobility wand about how to use Dick's idea for compression for swelling and just compression for um, kind of this old, old tissue that needs to be kind of uh, reawoken with, uh, with the blood flow. See you guys tomorrow.